back to hashtag sister mix. So today I am going to be baking a French chocolate cake. So you will need 180 grams of sugar, 180 grams of chocolate and 180 grams of butter. Also five eggs. For your equipment, equipment you will need a fork, <laughs> A fork, a couple of bowls, a mixer, a pan, <clears throat> a scale. Okay. First, you're going to put one hundred and eighty grams of sugar. sugar and put it in a bowl then you're going to get five eggs and then separate them so the white in one bowl and then the yellow pieces in a different bowl in a separate bowl but with the sugar add your sugar with the yolk and mix you give it a good mix and make sure it's nice and smooth after a while Then you're going to add 180 grams of sugar, I mean butter, <laughs> a bit more, more. Oh boy. <laughs> the butter in a separate bowl and then you're going to put it in the microwave. You might want to start with 30 seconds because then your parents might get a bit mad and go crazy if it splashes all over the microwave. a few times till it's getting a bit melted like this and then you're going to mix it a bit because the melted bit that's already been melted but the butter which hasn't been melted the hotness will melt the other butter then you're going to add your melted butter into the mixture of sugar and your of your sugar and your The smell of butter when it's warm smells really nice. Then you're going to mix it a bit. Also, then you're going to put your oven on. Again, 180 degrees. I think everything is 180. They're 180. So then, now we're going to get the white bit of the eggs and we're going to blend it with this till like you get like a fluffy white texture like snow. upside down and it doesn't fall. When you get another bowl then you're going to crack up all your chocolate in the bowl and then a 
again, you're going to put it in the microwave. And then I'll try not to eat any of this whilst I go along. Another tip about putting chocolate in the microwave is if there's water in it, then it won't cook, it will burn. So you need to make sure there's no water in your bowl so it can melt nicely. Okay. And be careful. When you get the bowl out, it might be a little bit hot. Now we're going to mix it a bit, so then it starts to get a bit more melted. You need to make sure you give it a good melt so it looks like this. Then you're going to mix your melted butter, sugar and yolk into the chocolate. <laughs> if you can, you might want to put it inside the dish, which would be better, not outside the dish. There we go, now it's inside the dish. Then you're going to mix it a bit so then they're nicely together. It might not look very good at the start, but then it's going to taste really good at the end. Then if there's a spoon, you can have a little lick of it. Now is an actual perfect mix. Now we're going to add the chocolate to the snow. I mean the white bits of the eggs. Put it inside the dish this time. And don't put the fork inside the dish. Just making sure we've got all the chocolate in. And then you can have another little lick of more chocolate. <laughs> then the trick is when you're gonna mix this, you don't mix it like that, like everyone would do when they cook. You've got to mix it like this. Round the edges. You go under and scoop it round. And then under and scoop it round like that. It's because you don't want to lose the fluff. You want to keep the fluff. What you're going to do is you're going to cut a little piece of butter, then rip a piece of the butter thing off and then you're going to spread it round in the pan so then your cake won't stick. I think I need to use the paper because the paper is a bit hard to use because it's hard to find the perfect amount of paper thing you need 
So I'm just going to do it with my hands. You need to make sure you do the corners too. Now we're going to do the best part. Can I have a little bit of help, please? But after you put everything in, well, you need to make sure you've got all of it in. And after, you, after you're going to spread it all around the dish to make sure it's all round the dish so it's just not in a big chunk and it's going to be a weird cake. Now we're going to wash my hand by the 150th time. Now we're going to spread it round a bit so then it's all around the bowl, like I said, so that it's not one little big chunk in the cake. This time I'm not going to lick it. <laughs> then we're going to put it in the oven like for 20-25 minutes. Now let's wait. So now it's been 25 minutes, we're gonna get it out of the oven and we're gonna wait half an hour for it to cool down. Wow, it looks very nice. We're gonna just pinch it a little bit with a knife to see so if it's not sticky or anything. So now that's perfect. <laughs> Now it's cooled down, we're going to take it out of the tray. Okay, now it looks perfect. We're going to cut it in the middle and see what it looks like inside. It looks perfect, I can't wait to try it tomorrow with some nice ice cream. I'm just gonna have a little try of it. Very cool. Bye. Bye. I've just tried this and it's so good. Mmm, I want all of it. Mmm. 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 It is like a midnight feast. It is really dark outside as well. So guys, ah. overall, I think it was really good. Like it was delicious. I think it's just a bit chocolatey. We could have added some toppings as well before we ate half the cake. But other than that, it's really good. Just a bit chocolatey, but yay. Just a bit chocolatey. Just a bit chocolatey. Goodbye.